Good evening, guys. Uh, welcome to the presentation for this evening. Um, I'm Garth from OBS, and I am a Serum consultant. Uh, tonight's presentation is focused on listening to your customers and getting one step ahead of your competitors with social listening. Just some interesting facts I'm going to start off with. Uh, you'll notice, or some of you might know this, um, is that it took radio 38 years to reach its first 30, 50 million users. It took television 13 years, internet four years, and Facebook reached 100 million users in under nine months. So it's phenomenal. It'll be interesting to see what the, what the next trend or technology will be and how quick they reach their first 50 or 100 million users. The way I'd like to approach the topic tonight is how do you win? So as a business or a consultancy, how do you win? And as a client, how do you win? Now what do we mean by win? What I want to do is win people's business and retain their loyalty. And in order to do that, you really need to know what your client thinks. And once you figure out what your client thinks, you need to steer your business to meet their needs. Social listening is going to help us to win client loyalty, uh, win more business, and get insights into how people view your product. So what we're really trying to do here is listen to our customers, and then a, not a new topic or not a new concept, but we are trying to nurture our customers. How do we listen to our customers? Well, what social listening does, Microsoft Social Listening, it scours multiple social networks and platforms, analyzes the data presented in those platforms, such as posts, and presents it back to you in an easy to read format in charts and graphs and dashboards. Some of those platforms that social listening scours are Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, RSS feeds, and blogs. Visual understanding. So what we're trying to do here is, as a social analyst, you're responsible for spotting emerging trends in people's posts, track marketing campaigns, figure out what your brand sentiment is, respond to any service issues before they escalate, you know, be ahead of, be ahead of the curve or be ahead of the trend, and gain insights about your competitors. Now, something important to note here is you can go ahead, pay a subscription for social listening, and just go ahead and play around. But what I recommend is having a social strategy. And these are just some of the thoughts you need to put in, or some of the groundwork you need to put in before you start playing around with the platform and trying to set up campaigns and keywords. Some examples of some sort of social strategies you could set up are Maybe we want to move our negative sentiment to a more neutral sentiment for an Office 365 product within a two-month period. Increase our positive sentiment for Twitter sources for the Microsoft Dynamics search words. Um, increase foreign languages as a source through Facebook. So we might want to trigger more French speakers through Facebook for our particular keyword search. Or increase the trend by 4% over four weeks for the SharePoint 2020 release. That is obviously very fictitious. Now, the great thing about social listening product is it's going to come in two flavors. One is a standalone isolated platform, and the other is through a dynamic serum integration. So tonight I'll be showing the more uh, standalone version. And just as a note to you, this is a trial version. Um, it is a limited 30 minute demo, but it'll give all of you an opportunity to go play around with the platform. Right. Let's move on to the demo. And I have already prepped the page. Um, however, you can go into Google and just search for the keywords Microsoft Dynamic Social Listening Trial. So I'm going to click over there. I'm going to just first thing to notice, there is a little introduction video at the bottom of the page, which you can click on just to give you a few quick pointers on how to get started. Otherwise, we'll click Let's Go. Just note that this is simply a 
information around the fact that it is a 30 minute trial and there are no warranties associated to this 30 minute trial. So you might not want to use this for a customer demo. Right. Now, the first thing you'll notice on the board is a dashboard. Uh, we're not going to tackle that right at this point. What we're going to do is I would just like to run you through the concept of a time frame before we even get started with the dashboard. Now, the concept of time frame, quite simply, is a chunk of time. Right? These chunk of times are usually done based on a week or a five day time frame. And all of the statistics will be based on either our current time frame and the current data set versus the past few time frames, the past five time frames. And that'll all make sense in a second. You'll see the default time frame for the demo is March. Here we have the dashboard. Some of the interesting uh, things you might notice here are A, the date, as I mentioned before, we're looking at one week in March, and then buzz and trend. Now, buzz is simply um, your current buzz over this week. So for example, we can see we've had 29,000 uh, hits or posts for all of our keywords within the past week, and that averages out to about 5,906 a day. And trend, this is the really interesting thing. What this is, is it compares your current week's performance for your campaign or keywords compared to the past five weeks worth of data that you've collected. And as you'll see, compared to the last five weeks, we're on an upward trend, which is fantastic. The arrow would then obviously show you a different sign. It would either be plateaued or pointing downwards based on your trend. Something else interesting is this gives you a great bird's eye view. Now, without having to scroll into each bit of data or to scroll through through each bit of data, simply by hovering over these different fields, we get great information at a bird's eye view. As you can see there on the share of all voices, Twitter is doing very well. It's 80.5% of all of our posts. Facebook, 2.9%. That might be acceptable, that might not be, it depends on your social strategy, and blog sitting at 16.3%. These are the campaigns that, or keywords that came out of the box with my, the trial. <coughs> uh, as you can see, there's Office 365 keywords, we've got our Surface Pro keywords, and Yammer. Office 365 on upward trend, Surface is plateauing, and Yammer is also plateauing. plateauing. But those trends go up and down, and as you'll see a bit later, we'll drill through into that information. You can also see how well our different languages are doing. English is at the top, Spanish, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But what we can do is, again, as part of a social strategy, maybe get a stronger presence through French-speaking Facebook users or social media users. Right, what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to click through to the Surface campaign. As you'll see here, we get a great analytics summary overview. It tells us on our post for this campaign for this week what it is average over this week, and then again, our trends. As you can see, it's pretty average and it's plateaued off. And this share of voice represents what percentage of our, all of our campaigns for the current data set this particular campaign keyword holds 31.9 percent over the right here we see our sentiment for this keyword as you can see this sentiment rating works from a negative 10 through to positive 10 scale and the fact that we're sitting at 5.3 is a good sign it means we're not sitting at completely neutral. Just below that, again, we've got our social media feeds and their percentiles. Handy little graphs over here, volume history, and you can simply track that. You could also click through on that information. Sources summary, where are our sources coming from? Not much going on in the video space here, and absolutely nothing going on in our news space. 
We've also got our share of voices again per social media platform. We might, as you can see, there's very little going on in the Facebook space. That might be maybe French speakers don't really use Facebook, or perhaps maybe they have their own specific locale social media platform. Let's go and break into the positive sentiment and just get a look at our posts for the positive sentiment. What's great about clicking through there is it automatically applies the filters. It's not that difficult to apply filters, but that's a nice little touch. I would like to show you guys something interesting. It seems like the processing engine that determines what is negative and positive doesn't always quite get it right. As we'll see now, let's see if we can pick up post. I do want to do one extra thing. I just want to add another filter for the English posts, just because I pretty much those are, that's the only language I know. Um, and just take you through this. Here we go. Now, as you can see, social listening's highlighted this as a negative sentiment, or the processing engine's highlighted it as a negative sentiment. But I believe that is actually a positive sentiment. So it doesn't quite always get it right. What we can do, at least in the full version, is change this to a positive sentiment. We can also open the post or whoops, go directly through the Twitter feed or retweet or mark as a favorite so we can come back to it later. What we can also do is go directly to the author. Right. Now here's where the nurturing element comes in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go one back. We can see this this gentleman's got a negative sentiment, but that's considering he hasn't actually done many posts. So that would be the reason why his one his only post was negative. So what we'll go do is go through the author's area again, just to show you what I meant by nurturing. Let's just wait for that to load. Okay, it's on the authors already. Let's go here. Let's go all campaigns. Let's take out this author. Okay, let's get a, let's actually just Yes, here we go. Let's go back to authors. And now we've listed our top 100 authors. Again, these will be our top 100 English speaking authors, or at least English blogging authors. And once that loads, what this is going to give us is an idea of the top 100 authors across our searches. I'm going to select English because that is pretty much the only language I know. And we now have top 100 English blogging or English speaking authors. As you can see, we've got the total number of posts per author. And we can actually click through. This is where our nurturing concept comes in. Let's take a look at the sentiment for this customer. And again, it depends on your social listening strategy. For some reason, there is no sentiment for this blogger. But what we can notice is take a look at their, their blogging. Um, based on the number of blogs, you can, you can really think that they might have a big reach out there in the social networks. What we can do is maybe give this guy a call, this gentleman a call, get some more information from him, find out what he is, what he's not joining about, enjoying about our products, and nurture this client, get information from this client, work with this client, and at the end of the day, improve our product or service. Unfortunately, there are some, the, the trial is rather limited. Um, the add alert feature at least allows you to move into the screen, but you cannot actually save an alert. 
No. And it'll tell you that it cannot save and alert. This would be quite useful. Uh, one of my social strategy points was getting ahead of the trend and knowing if, for example, you've released a recent product and there are any issues with that product, it might be useful to know very quickly that there are problems with the product. Just want to show you guys how you could possibly get into the settings area to set up your own campaigns. You go into settings. Right, we're going to go into the search topics area. And we're here. We could obviously go ahead and delete or edit our campaigns. Now, these can get quite sophisticated. Right, as can be seen below. As you can see, you can do inclusions, you can do exclusions. So you might want to exclude Surface Pro 2 Talk and might only want to include Surface Pro 3 Talk. Where do you want your keywords to search? In the sentence, post, or paragraph? What sources would you like to reach out to or track? What languages would you like to track as well? And there's even more advanced search queries over here. You'd save that then. Unfortunately, again, limited in trial. Not interesting is that you can test the search query as well. Let's cancel that. And that pretty much is the demo for the day. Just want to go back to the Prezo. And uh, let's go here. Right, so those are some of the concepts I took you through, through today. Just in terms of pricing, as you can see, there's a standalone version, $100 a month, or the integrated version with Serum at $65 a month. Just some issues I experienced with the trial. We only had the 30 minute set of features. Um, we only could work with trial data and the alerts were quite painful. I also experienced some issues with the trial, logging in more than twice over an hour long period produced errors. Um, I did not experience that this was actually a caching issue. And that's it. That's just a quick glimmer into social listening, get you guys started, and you can all have fun and go and play around with it. Thank you very much.